those clusters will wreak havoc in the coming weeks. That's pollen getting ready to explode. Yep. We better have the allergy meds filled, ready to go. Spring's coming, and I am not going to complain. Good morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. I am going to tackle the area that's the flower bed between the big pine tree here and the wagon. You know, I left off the last video with hoping that the forecast of rain, 100% chance of rain, was true, and believe me, it was. We got a good, good day of rain. A little over a day, actually. So everything is greening and growing, and in places where it shouldn't be greening and growing. So this area, I I'm really don't know where to start. Um, these weeds here, these, um, they're relatively easy to get rid of. Of them. So I had thought that I would just remove the um, mulch. Well, it's um, a combination of pine straw and leaves. And I might try to remove some of them, but I don't know that I'm going to remove all of it. I, I just don't think that it's, that would be very productive. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to move the bird feeder from here because this is what happens when the birds get in and they scatter it. It um, germinates and you've got all this coming up and that will be difficult to remove there. So um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. It definitely will be somewhere that does not involve a flower bed or mulch underneath it. So, I think I can find somewhere. Um, my Gerber Daisy, no, this isn't a Gerber Daisy. This is, oh, let's see, let me think. What's the name of this? Um, well, maybe it is a Gerber Daisy. Yeah, I'll correct myself later if I figure out that this is wrong, but it's putting out, so um, like I say, everything's beginning to bloom. Not bloom, but uh, green up. This is the day lilies. They're um, greening up as well. These are irises, and this one, I don't know, maybe Monday, Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Monday, Tuesday of next week, I might have me a couple of really pretty blooms. I've got this one, this, and this is thickening up right in here, too, so I know there'll be three. Right, let's get to working on getting this area cleaned up. Oh, one more thing. It's underneath. It's 
some of these weeds, but this is beginning to put back out. It's a ground cover. It's a, um, I guess a member of the succulents. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but it's beginning to come out pretty good. So, and I had scattered some uh, some seeds out in this area last summer. That's putting back out and that. This, but it's outside of the flower bed area. And I see this one right here too. And another one, so I'll have to dig those up and go back in here. It was just a, a pack of Dollar Tree wildflower seeds that they have done fairly well. Coming back. All right, let's get busy. I have to be pretty particular working right in here because there's a couple of ant beds that have um, popped up. I certainly don't want to deal with that. I'm using this little handy dandy tool for easily getting to the roots. The dirt is soft, so everything hopefully will come up fairly easily. I'm counting on it anyway. Give you a shot of what it looks like here. Ant bed, ant bed. So let's see what the after looks like. All right, here we go. Yay. I decided that I would peel back some of the straw. I'm not gonna take it out, but I'll just peel it back in sections. And then once I get all of this pulled, I'll rake it back and start on the next section. These come up really easily. It's the these that you have to be careful with because if you don't get all of it it'll pop back out you gonna help me you better not come out here to do any of your business Here's the after. I'm standing here at the pine tree. There's one of the ant beds and there's the other one. You can see that's free of greenery except for what's supposed to be there. We come along on this side of the pine tree. No weeds on this side. You can see I do have the straw raked up and I'll explain what I'm intending to do with that in just a bit. Here, the greenery that you see right here, that's supposed to be here. That's some of the wildflowers that's come up. So, what I did was I stopped it here, that is underneath the bird feeder. So I'll deal with that. This will be in the flower bed. Let me get my shot out of the way. This will be in the flower bed. That won't. I'm gonna move that one. 
What I want to do is dig a trench that will make it easy to edge the flower bed, make it uh, a little more cleaner looking. So I've got the straw rate right back and I'm gonna start with the trench right here where the wheelbarrow is and look at the amount of weeds that I pulled. So, you know, it, it's, it was a good day's work. Trench this, I won't get through with it today. I'm gonna pace myself. It's, it's just too much to have to do all in one day. I wished I could, but can't do that anymore. So let's get busy trenching. This is all I can do today. Here's the beginning from here out or here back to the other side of the pine tree is where I de-weeded. So I got a trench that comes along here and I ran into some stumps, not stumps, but roots. another patch of roots there. And this is as far as I got. Here's the pine tree. It's hot. It's three o'clock. And this kind of work needs to be done in the mornings, by me anyway. I got a wheelbarrow load of dirt, which this was probably a mistake. I should have switched over to the lawnmower wagon because this is going to be hard to move. I won't be home this weekend so there won't be any work done on it then. But slowly but surely. All right, I'm going to rake the straw back on this part that I've done. So I have smoothed the straw down to the edge somewhat. I mean, it's going to take a little bit more work. You can see that I do have a um, ground weed cover down. What this is, is we had some um, plastic, well it wasn't plastic, I think it's more rubber. Uh, it was a lining that was left over, scrap pieces left over from a water garden that I had at the house. And so I put it down in this area next to the wagon. And for the most part, it's kept this area weed free. Now, that doesn't look like it right there, but I'm not sure that it even goes up under the wagon. Um, I, it was scrap pieces, so I don't remember exactly how far it went. There's a line right there. It, it, I may have put it under the wagon, put it down, and then put the wagon on top. I really don't remember. It was something that we did really quick. There's some more of it right there. I've got cardboard out in this area, I think. I put plastic down in this area. You can see it around the tree. And probably extremely red faced because I am hot. I had said, let's see, let me get to where there's a little bit of shade. I had said that I was not going to put anything in the ground, that I was getting away from that, being gone, not having time to do gardening. You know, not being able to do it like I want to do it, that kind of thing. I said, I'm not putting anything in the ground. I'll just have 
containers, flower pots. Well, I'm going back on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna put a lot in the ground, but I am gonna put some. And why? Because I miss working with it. I miss um, the, the prettiness of it all, the beauty of it all, flowering, um, shrubbery or, or flowering, flowering um, annuals, that kind of thing. Hydrangeas. I had just planted, oh, let's see, what kind is it? It just slipped my mind. It's not the mop head. Um, it's not oak leaf. It's that green, lime green hydrangea. I can't think what you call it right now. Slipped my mind. It'll come to me in a minute. But anyway, I had just put one of those in the ground. It was one that my sister and my niece gave me. And it was doing really well. And I, my intentions was to dig it up. A, a lime Lime light, I think that's what it is, lime light hydrangea. It was doing really well. And my intention was to dig it up and bring it with me, put it in a pot. Um, it, was not, it was not very big. We, I just didn't have time to do it. I just did not have time to go out and, and dig it up and there were some other things that I wanted to bring with me and, you know, just have it in the pots and all, which is what my original plan was, but I just did not have time. So that's one thing that I want to get to put in the yard is um, hydrangea and then maybe a couple of three azaleas. I, you know, it won't be a lot. It will not be a lot, but I just miss having the flower bed, you know, uh, something that's a little bit, makes things look a little neater, a little more finished. You know, we are full-time RVers and we're loving it, but you know, it's our home. And so we want to treat it as a house, a sticks and bricks house, in the looks and the care and the maintenance of the yard surrounding it. So that's my plan is to not go overboard with it, but to, to have a few flowering shrubs and perennials. You know, my butterfly garden is gonna encompass uh, a good bit of that, so. I just hope to goodness that the butterfly garden turns out to be what my vision is. Um, you know, I, I've shown you in other videos where I raised monarch butterflies and black swallowtail butterflies, and I want to do that again. <laughs> I had a ball with that. So I'm calling it today and it will be Monday before I can get back out into the yards, going out of town this weekend. And um, we are expecting some more rain over the weekend, which is good because that keeps, that'll keep the ground soft so it won't be so terribly hard uh, doing that trenching. So until Monday, yard work's done for now.